Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam Ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi Wa sallam Amma ba'd Ahabta fi Allah Qala Allahu tabarak wa ta'ala Fi kitab al-kareem Inna allaha Huwa razzaq Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a razzaq and that's from his rububiyah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from his lordship his lordship over his creation over his dominion he is the provider and sustainer we're in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he is not in need of us. So that right there necessitates, as the ulama mentioned, al-uluhiyah or ubudiyah. It necessitates that we worship him and him alone because he provides for us, he sustains us, he gives to us. Yuti man yasha. He gives to whomsoever he subhanahu wa ta'ala wishes. That's one of his divine characteristics. So when <clears throat> you look at your provisions, never forget to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And one of the best ways in which we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is by making dhikr and shukr and thanks on our limbs as well as our tongues. To mention his praises, <clears throat> to mention the bounties he's bestowed upon you, and <clears throat> the favors. And showing that gratefulness comes through good deeds. That when you do extra prayers, nawafil, when you do extra fasting, this is a way in which you illustrate your shukr. Your thankfulness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the rizq, for the blessings, for the ni'am that he's given you. And we ask Allah the Almighty to continue to bless us all with bounties. And bless our brothers and sisters in Syria, in Iraq, in Afghanistan, in Pakistan, in Namibia, in Zimbabwe, in Ghana, in Central African Republic, even here in America. And wherever they may be, wherever they're in need. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.